welcome back to I Know Football. I have another review for you guys. And uh, today, I'm going to finally review the Shut Vengeance. Um, so I know it's been a while since the unboxing, uh, but you know, I had to use it in training camp. And training camp started last week, and earlier this week we started hitting. Um, so I really had a lot of chance to test this out in terms of just wearing it around, catching passes, um, you know, check the visibility, um, you know, check the comfort everything like that in addition to hitting. So hitting, I, I wasn't too concerned about because I've had other shut helmets with uh, the same technology, um, but this does have the DCT, dual compression technology, um, and that is gonna be a little bit different. So um, I will go over a couple things. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go over the weight, but it, uh, it, it's just a relative weight because I figured my scale was off. When I did the Riddell Speed, or the Revo Speed versus the 360, the scale was off because the Speed is, is definitely a lighter helmet, and I think I told you guys it was the same. Uh, the design, the heat management, the size of it, um, the face mask, attachment, chin cup, uh, the price, uh, visor use, and just the overall comfort level. So first, I'll just take a look at the design. So it has a visor on it now. A lot of you told me like a visor doesn't fit. I don't know where you got that information from. Um, even when I made a video that said this is how you modify a visor to fit on a shove vengeance or an ion um, so obviously one does fit uh, but here's the, the shell of the helmet and you can tell it's a little more round um, you know than compared to some of the Riddell helmets but it's typical shut uh, it's not as angular as the or oval as the DNA but it's definitely a round helmet um, this is new this like kind of shelf design um, how you know much it comes out compared to the other shut helmets this is new this is big and bold in the back um, the shape of the ear hole is a little new uh, the DNA's and the ions I think are a little sharper in terms of the jaw pad this is a little more round so overall it's more of a bubble if you will it has a mohawk at the top and this is again supposed to protect more against uh, some of those violent hits to the crown of the helmet and then of course you have the face mask which has the eyebrows up here um, you know it has this uh, attachment here I can't even remember what it's called but it's supposed to be a little bit easier um, which it is quicker than having the normal screws um, they went away from in the eye and having the energy wedge uh, so I'll tell you right now like the one thing I didn't like as much about this helmet was the fact that it had the screws and I ordered it and I ordered it from sports Depot, I think um, it didn't have an option for the quarter turn release, so I hate these screws. Uh, they take so. I mean, it's not like you're going to be changing your face mask all the time because you can't put a visor in and out without taking off the face mask. But quick release is is a lot easier and quicker for me to use. Um, I don't like these screws, so for that reason, I'm. You have the option to put screws at the top here as opposed to this bumper, but I like this because as soon as you unscrew this, you can flip up the face mask so if there's an injured player it's one screw two screw and you flip it up uh, as opposed to four screws so I did like that aspect of it the other thing I really liked about the helmet was the style of the face mask so I saw this face mask and I was like I have to get this helmet that was uh, one of the main things I wanted to see how it looked um, you know this is actually an eye guard here so you know on other helmets eye guard comes straight down so this extra little ridge here and the small space make this an eye guard as well um, so let's get down to some of the other things um, things that are a little bit more important is the weight it's definitely a heavier helmet I think it's heavier than the Ion and I think it's a little heavier than my 360 but not by much it's definitely heavier than the Speed um, it is the largest helmet by far of any helmet I've had uh, and that's what makes it a little bit safer um, so the 360 I thought was a large helmet this is definitely a little bit bigger um, and it's round so depending on how you feel about that you may or may not like it um, on the inside is where you can see the padding so the DCT dual compression technology um, that's the the two colors of TPU you can see the blue TPU and you can see the clear TPU um, and that the, the clear TPU is for those um, you know not as violent hits uh, which you know the shut ion was ranked low um, so the speed beat it in that so uh, both of these are supposed to rank, make this helmet one of the best. And, you know, the the shut I thought was really good at protecting me. I never felt anything. Um, and so this helmet is no different. Uh, it, it's really good. 
Um, it's extremely comfortable. It's definitely the most comfortable helmet I've ever had. Um, and by looking at it, I don't know if you can tell it, but the way that it fits around, they modified the SureFit Airliner compared to the Ion, and it's super comfortable. And I wish my 360 felt like this. I really do. Uh, the other thing is the jaw pads. So these jaw pads are not inflatable. And you might think that's a bad thing because you don't get a custom fit, but they pop out and you can order different sizes. So I had to order uh, the biggest size, which is one and three, it says it right there, one and three eighths of an inch. So I ordered the biggest size and they fit perfect. So they're not gonna deflate, like my 360 always deflates, so I'm always reinflating it. These just stay like that. So it costs a little extra money. Uh, these jaw pads together cost $10. Um, so total, including new jaw pads, because I can't get these just from ordering it, it comes with a smaller set, I paid $284, which again is a lot cheaper than the $360, which I think was is like $350 or something like that, maybe even $360. Um, so in terms of price, this is a little bit cheaper than the $360, it's still more than a Revo Speed, but I think it's going to protect you more than the other two. Um, Again, the other things that I don't like about this helmet is uh, the attachment. So I haven't even began to take this apart, but I feel like it's going to be really tough. Whereas the Ion, it was all Velcro. So you just pull it out. It's easy to clean. You can wipe it down. You can still wipe this down. But if I was going to take this helmet apart to paint or something like that, man, there's all these screws. Like, I don't know what. I don't know what this is for. Or like the screws behind the face mask. Uh, you can't see it, but it's right there. Like, it's supposed to hold in the TPU, and I just feel like, man, I, I don't know. Is it going to be hard to take off? So I'm, I'm kind of afraid to try it. Uh, so let's see some of the other things I want to talk about. Um, just the, the chin cup. So this is a little bit of a different chin cup. Um, it's not, I actually think it's better than the one that came with the IM because it had this little thing here is supposed to be for high hookups and low hookups and you know it didn't really work so this is also for high and low hookups and I think it works a lot better um, it's just as comfortable you know here um, I would definitely wear a chin pad because this is white and it's gonna get dirty super fast so definitely wanna wear a chin pad with that um, and then the other thing is we're gonna talk about the visor and we're going to talk about the visibility without the visor. So that's something that I was really disappointed. Even though I like the helmet, and you can get used to it, you can get used to the vision. But the way the visor sits, and you do have to cut the visor. If you don't cut the visor, you have to go with the normal attachments here. Um, right here, these sit right in your line of vision, right under your eye. And maybe it's just this face mask, I don't know. But they sit too low, so there's kind of that big block that's blocking your vision but again you can get used to that without a visor it's perfect I don't have any visibility issues I can see just as much as another helmet um, and I think the face mask is nice and aggressive this this particular face mask right here um, everyone who's seen it loves it um, I love it too I mean it just looks it just looks super aggressive um, so I may wear it a couple times this year you know during games and stuff like that or maybe just practice to test it out um, so we're gonna see uh, but that's really it. It sizes the same as the other helmets, so I wear a large in all my helmets. Um, this one is no different at all. Um, and uh, I think that's that's really just about it. So I'll try it on for you so you can see how it looks. Um, you can't really tell the sizing from it just because once it has decals on, you can really more tell the size. Uh, but that's about it. But again, this is just it's really comfortable. The snaps stay on. They didn't really come off. Um, you know, like my ion did, but I haven't used it as much as the ion yet, so maybe that will change. I don't really know. Um, but other than that, it's a it's a really great helmet. So uh, if you guys are looking for recommendations, I would say if you like shut and you like the style of helmet, um, this is the best shut helmet that you can get in terms of protection. It is going to be a little bit heavier, uh, but it's not as like oblong as the DNA, like I said before. So again, if you're a Shut fan, this is the helmet to get. So let me try it on so you guys can uh, have a little look at how it looks like when you wear it. All right, so let's try it on and uh, see how it looks. So it's a nice, tight, 
secure fit. Uh, it the way it surrounds my head and the back of like right under my head, the back of my neck feels good. Again, it feels better than any helmet that I've ever put on, so I really like in that aspect. It is a little bit heavy, um, you know, not as light as a speed. Uh, I can't remember what my ion was like, but again, it, uh, it just feels more supportive. So here's how it looks from the front. So you can look. Some of you guys don't like the eyebrows or like the style of face mask, but you can put uh, the DNA face mask and I think the Super Pro, which is like that goes with the Air XP. You can't fit that on this. You might have to drill for the DNA on the sides. Um, and then you have to take off this bumper. And it comes with another bumper for you to put on the, uh, the Air XP face mask. So here's how it looks, again, from the side. You know, so you can judge for yourself whether it looks uh, too big or not. And here's how it looks from the side. So I love this right here. And here's where I was saying that visibility is just a tiny bit reduced. Just a tiny bit. Uh, so this face mask um, without a visor is good for for DBs, but with a visor, I would say this is for fullbacks, linebackers, running backs, uh, where you're not always looking left and right for the ball. So I probably should have got a different face mask, but I like it anyway. I'm going to keep it. So uh, there's my review. If you liked it, remember, give me a thumbs up, uh, share, subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time.